Hello Sagittarius, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And it will be from the 22nd to the 28th of March 2021. So let's do what we always do and pull your overarching energy for the week, Sagittarius. So what is the message for Sagittarius, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for our lovely Sagittarians. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> I love it. The Ace of Cups, Cup of Joy. Very nice energy. Okay. Message for Sagittarius. Thank you. Message for Sagittarius Angels. So I'm using the Tarot Grand Lux, the Angel Answer Cards by Doreen Virtue, Radiant Wise Spirit Cards and the Rider Waite deck. Um, and then I'm finishing off with Karen Kay's Oracle of the Fairy Cards. Okay. Message for Sagittarius. Thank you. I've got in the near future Sagittarius. What's in the... Oh, Ace of Cups is in the near future. But let's pull another card. Feel the need to pull another card for you. Message for Sagittarius, please. Angels, spirits, guides. Message for Sagittarius. No need to worry and the situation will improve. That's quite specific. <laughs> um, no need to worry. And, you know, there's definitely an energy. If you're going to start heading in the right direction, the situation will improve. This person is heading towards the surface from being in the depths of a situation. So I definitely feel in this situation, something is about to look up. So don't worry. And that is the message from the angels. Okay. Okay, Sagittarius, I'm going to pull three cards. The first card is you, your challenge or issue for the week. Second card is advice from spirit. Third card is your near future outcome. And then we clarify the cards, go deeper into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody. So just take what resonates with you as always. Okay, so what do we have for Sagittarius, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for our lovely Sagittarians. For the week. Okay, so I have uh, two cards there. There you are, Sagittarius, with the Ace of Swords in your challenge position. The Nine of Wands, again Sagittarian energy, is advice from Spirit and we have the High Priestess in your outcome. Message for Sagittarius please, Angels, Spirit's Guides, message for our lovely Sagittarians. Let's clarify, go deeper into the message for Sagittarius, thank you. <coughs> What do we have for Sagittarius? Thank you. Judgment. Eight of Cups with the Nine of Wands. Two cards there, Sagittarius. We have the Sun with the King of Swords. And the Four of Cups. So in the near future, the message is the situation will improve. No need to worry. Let's clarify this Four of Cups. Let's clarify this Four of Cups, please. So it's clarified with the Queen of Pentacles and I've got 
the wheel of fortune bottom of the deck interesting every time I, when i look at bottom of the deck i put it down so there's definitely an energy of something is about to change here Sagittarius there's definitely something that has been causing you some kind of imbalance because the the temperance card is you trying to bring balance back into your life trying to adjust find your flow find the way forward and again the ace of swords is victory and success but it feels like it's eluding you at the moment the victory the success also the clarity And I definitely get this energy that you're doubting anything's gonna that, that it feels like something it feels like it feels like you're doubting anything is gonna change here. Again, judgment can be this rebirth energy. Um, it can be forgiveness, um, a feeling of absolution, uh, release, but it can also be about making some kind of choice or decision on how you move forward. But for some of you, it feels there's lack of clarity in how you can make some kind of decision or choice or see the way forward or bring balance back into your life it feels you've been trying to here but it just feels like the the victory is eluding you right now and interestingly enough this ace of cups is well the cup of joy is being presented so this is the new beginning that maybe you had lack of clarity on the Ace of Cups can be to do with new beginnings. It can be an emotional rebirth. It can be just where we emotionally are ready to move on. Um, it can be to do with self-love, new love coming into your life, can represent new joy, happiness, new connections. So it can represent friendships, pets, um, but like I said, it can represent love, also creative opportunities. So I definitely get in this energy here, Sagittarius. There is new happiness coming your way, and that's what you're being told. It's being given to you by God, the hand of the universe. But it feels like there's a lack of clarity. You just don't see it yet. And you're doubting. There's a, there's a feeling of doubting that you're going to see it. It feels like you're struggling to put something behind you. And the message from Spirit is, you know, there could be one thing here to go, one obstacle to overcome. The message with the Nine of Wands is keep persevering. It's been a tough journey. There's the wounded warrior here. Um, but there's a feeling of you're so close. You're so close to getting this Ace of Cups. You're so close to getting to where you want to be. And why do I say that? Because this person turns their back on disappointment, walks away from disappointment. Um, but it feels like, it feels like you're almost like one step away from putting something behind you here. Because there is a missing cup here. And I say this, you know, all the time. And it's funny how the cards come out because you are absolutely finding that missing cup you're walking towards the missing cup. Now, the nine of cups is the wish fulfillment, the hopes, dreams and wishes, getting your heart's desire. So it feels like there is greater happiness ahead and that's what you're being told by spirit. You, It feels like there is just maybe one thing to do or one obstacle to overcome or one push um, to, to, to make here and you can finally put something behind you. So the message is don't give up. 
Don't give up. If this is a relationship, Sagittarius, I mean, there is a feeling of trying to get clarity in how you make some kind of decision to do with a relationship. And some of you might be thinking about giving up, but there is definitely an energy of before you turn and walk away, just give it one more push or one more challenge. It feels in this situation, Sagittarius, there's one more uh just don't give up right now because you're so close to bringing change to your situation. And I definitely see with this sun and the king of swords, you're finally getting the clarity. You know, um... The sun is a card of, it can be a card of rebirth, it can be a card of coming through challenge, coming through an obstacle, coming through the other side of it, and feeling really good. I mean, this is the feeling of being restored. It doesn't feel, it doesn't feel like new love is coming your way. It feels in terms of, I'm going to clarify this Ace of Cups. It feels to me to do with a relationship here. Let's clarify this Ace of Cups. That's you. Let's clarify King of Wands is will be you. No, nope, it doesn't want to fall out, so let's keep going. Okay, so I've got the Knight of Cups, which offers, you know, the cup. And then we have the Three of Swords and the Eight of Wands. Again, how you move forward after being hurt. So something's happened here where you don't have the clarity to make some kind of decision. And it feels to do with a relationship here, Sagittarius. And this, I, feel, I see this as you. Again, the, the court cards are male or female energies. But Sagittarius, the Knight of Cups offers love. And it feels like someone is offering some kind of love, romance, relationships as some kind of apology for hurting you. The Three of Swords can be third party situations, something that causes you emotional pain, a truth coming to light. And then we have the Eight of Wands, which is how do I take action? move forward conversations you know forward movement so it, it definitely feels in this energy if it, it feels that there is an energy here if something is holding you back from moving on from leaving somebody from separating from somebody and the message from spirit is to just persevere, it feels to do with, I mean, this feels like somebody who wants to persevere rather than walk away. Just give it another push, just overcome some other obstacle. And it feels for some of you, you'll be exactly where you need to be. I mean, the clarity will become clear. You know, that King of Swords is an energy of mental clarity, understanding how you want to move forward, you know, everything becoming clear. You know, and that, and and again, the sun energy is a card of restoration, healing, um, feeling good, growth, vitality, success. But you know, they the child comes through the wall, so there's definitely an energy of of stepping into your light here, having gone through some kind of. There's real clarifying, illuminating energies here of how you need to move forward again aligned to your path and again message of trusting your intuition with the high priestess it feels in this kind of energy Sagittarius that there is some kind of offer someone is offering you something it feels to do with healing nurturing um that queen of pentacles capricorn energy 
um, Capricorn Virgo Taurus it male or female energy again but it definitely feels that somebody wants to it feels that somebody wants to I'm definitely getting this energy of somebody wants to heal something somebody wants to give it a go uh, put that energy into the relationship um, bring stability and security back you know protect I mean there's a feeling of protect the relationship they don't want to let it go yeah and it's up to you I mean this is an energy of you know a turning point turning something around hmm it's a big energy here Sagittarius I mean obviously the message is the situation will improve don't worry I've got death endings the hanged man wait for something to play out till you find answers information knowledge because there's hope okay so the message is really clear Sagittarius Spirit is saying, you know, some of you are thinking about ending something, but the message from Spirit, and obviously if this message is for you, you'll already be feeling this. You'll already be in two minds in terms of whether you want to end something or not, you know, because the judgment card is generally about making that judgment call. This is where I'm going. This is my call to action. And generally it's a final decision or choice where there's no going back from. But here's the thing, you're being told to wait. Wait before you end something because there's still hope. We know this is the blessing, this is renewal, the star energy is a sense of renewal, hope, optimism, faith. So if, you, if you've lost faith in somebody or you know, it feels like someone's disappointed you deeply here, hurt you deeply. There's a message of just wait. Just wait. Wait before ending something. And that's what I'm getting. Because remember, the, the, someone's offering you this cup. Or you're offering somebody the cup and it feels to do with love, renewal of love, renewal of happiness, renewal of a new beginning here, a uh, new phase, next level. But again, this feeling with the four of, of cups of do I, do I not want it? You know, I don't know. Um, this is the divine nudge card, you know. So there's definitely this energy of you need to really consider this because there's still hope here. So before you end something, really consider it because karma is at play here and it feels that once you make that decision or choice, there's no going back from it. So there is just an energy of just wait, wait. And that's what Spirit is saying. Um, yeah. Okay, final message for Sagittarius, please. Yeah, you'll get the inspiration when it's right. So we have, um, be prepared as you'll soon receive a visit from the Fairy of Inspiration and come dusk or dawn, she can call at any time. It feels that there's an opportunity to turn something around here. Uh, divine timing, everything happens when it meant, it's meant to happen. And it, it feels for some of you in this energy because this can be the transmutable energy between endings and beginnings as well. It feels that you're just being told to wait because there's still hope in the situation or certainly spirit is still, still seeing some hope, some love there. Um, but you've been badly hurt. So this is reflect on it before you make some kind of decision or choice. I hope you enjoyed the reading. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a big reading, Sagittarius, and if you did, please do like, share, and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you all, and I will see you next time. Thank you.